The fame of Indian spices is older than the recorded history, but the potential for research in spices was left unexplored for years. Spices research in the country had a modest beginning with the establishment of a regional center of Central Plantation Corps Research Institute at Calicut in the year 1975. Further, in 1995, the research on spices gained full momentum with the establishment of Indian Institute of Spices Research, a dedicated top-notch institute for spices research. The institute is located in a serene campus of 14.3 hectares at Chelavu, 11 kilometers from Calicut city. The experimental farm of IISR is located at Perunamuri, a triangle sitting about 51 kilometers northeast of the city of Calicut. The research farm set up in a leased land of 94.8 hectares focuses on intensive production of nucleus planting materials and conservation of biodiversity and spices. The institute's Cardamom Research Center at Apangala in Kodagu district of Karnataka is a one and only ICAR center engaged in cardamom research. The center has been playing an important role in conducting research in cardamom and developing cropping systems for increased productivity. With the objective of transferring agricultural technology effectively to the farming community, the institute has set up a Krishi Vigyan Kentra at its Pirvanamuri experimental farm. Since its inception, KVK has been instrumental in organizing agricultural training programs, field demonstrations and exhibitions for the benefit of farmers, unemployed women, youth and development workers. IISR is also the headquarters of All India Coordinated Research Projects on Spices, which is the largest spices research network in the country. The center facilitates in linking the ICAR system with the state agricultural universities through a network of 34 research centers located in 21 states. The mandate crops of the institute are black pepper, cardamom, ginger, turmeric, cinnamon, cassia, clove, nutmeg, allspice, garcinia, vanilla, and paprika. IASR maintains the world's largest germplasm repository of spices with a total of 2,575 black pepper, 435 cardamom, 685 ginger, and 1,040 turmeric accessions. Apart from this, the institute has gene repositories of vanilla, paprika and other tree spices such as cinnamon, clove, nutmeg and cassia. A significant contribution of the institute in the field of spices research is the breeding of high-yielding spice varieties that are tolerant to drought, pests and diseases. Eight varieties of black pepper were released by the institute. Varieties such as Shrikara, Shubhagara, Panchami and Paunami are already in the farmer's field. Latest varieties include IISR Tevum, IISR Malabar Excel, IISR Girimunta, and IISR Shakti. IISR Vijeda 1, IISR Avinash, and IISR Kodagu Suvasini are the cardamom varieties developed by the Cardamom Research Center at Apangala. The ginger varieties of the institute, IISR Varata, IISR Rajata, and IISR Mahima, are suitable for cultivation in all major ginger growing tracts of the country. Eight high quality turmeric varieties have been released so far by the Institute. Suguna, Sudarshana, Prapha, Pradipha and IASA Alapi Supreme are known for their high curcumin content and other quality attributes. IASA Vishwashri, a high yielding nutmeg variety with a bushy and compact canopy is suitable for all tracts in South India. Navashri and Nithishri are the leading cinnamon varieties of IASR, well known for their bark oil and oleoresin. The institute has developed various technologies for sustainable production of spices. Field experiments have proved that application of vermicompost and azospirillum can improve yield in black pepper. Introduction of contour staggered trenches in coffee and cardamom plantations 
was effective in conserving soil and water. Cardamom plots with contour staggered trenches in alternate rows recorded less runoff and soil loss. Drip and spindle irrigation methods recorded higher number of tillers, leaves and panicles in cardamom plantations. The institute has also developed organic cultivation methods for ginger and turmeric using FYM, vermicompost, ash and rock phosphate as nutrient sources and pseudomonas and trichoderma species as biocontrol agents. Studies have been conducted on correlation between weather parameters and productivity in black pepper, cardamom, ginger and turmeric. GIS studies conducted at the institute showed that environmental suitability is one of the major factors that control productivity and the essential oil components of spices. Labor saving in post-harvest operations being a key concern in spices, the institute has evaluated efficient threshers, dryers and graders in black pepper. Turmeric polisher with a capacity of 100 kg per hour can make dry turmeric attractive. White pepper has always a specific market. Institute has identified Panur 1 as the most ideal for protection of white pepper. An oil technology to convert green pepper to white pepper using selected bacterial culture has been sent for patenting. The technology of zero energy chamber developed by IISA is useful for the farmers to store ginger for future use. Production and distribution of nucleus planting materials of improved varieties are another important activity of the institute. Rooted cuttings and laterals of black pepper, seed rhizomes of turmeric and ginger, and grafted seedlings of nutmeg are produced at Pervanamari. Seedlings, suckers, and capsules of cardamom and rooted cuttings of black pepper are produced in the nurseries at Apangala. Introduction of individual polybags and solarized potting mixture is a cheap, safe, and efficient method for raising black pepper cuttings. Scientists have also developed a novel and cheap technique called serpentine method for the rapid multiplication of black pepper planting materials. Application of nutrient solution consisting of urea, superphosphate, potash and magnesium sulfate in solarized potty mixture at monthly intervals promotes vigorous growth of black pepper plants in the nursery. Substituting sand in potting mixture with granite powder obtained from stone quarries is more economical due to the scarcity and high cost of sand. Pests and disease is a major problem in spice cultivation and the institute since its inception has been giving prime attention to this area. Several disease detection methods were developed and eco-friendly management measures were formulated. Biocontrol agents like Trichoderma, Pseudomonas and Pachonia were identified and popularized among the farming community. These technologies have been successfully taken up by several entrepreneurs. A major research project on wilt pathogens like Phytophthora, Fusarium and Ralstonia involving 17 research centers has been launched by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research with IISR as its headquarters. A virus testing facility supported by the Department of Biotechnology is also functioning at the Institute. Micropropagation protocols were developed for the multiplication of disease-free planting materials in many spices and protocols for black pepper, ginger and turmeric were commercialized. Microrhizon technology was developed for the production of disease-free planting materials in ginger and turmeric. IISA uses DNA markers for profiling important varieties and unique genotypes of various spices to safeguard our interest in the post guard scenario. The programs in IASR are also fine-tuned with cutting-edge technology of gene tagging and marker-assisted selection for reducing breeding time of perennial spice crops. The Institute is also recognized by the Department of Biotechnology as an accredited lab for testing genetic fidelity. Agricultural Technology Information Center, or ATIC, established in 2002, coordinates the extension and training activities of the Institute. The major activities of ATIC include production and distribution of quality planting materials and printed literature, farm advisory and crop diagnostic services, 
and information dissemination through multimedia. It also provides audiovisual support to institute activities and organizes exhibitions and seminars to farmers and other end users. The multimedia test screen kiosk at the center provides information to the visitors at their fingertips. The satellite technology based Village Resource Center Scheme, sponsored by Kerala State Planning Board, the technological support of ISRO is another milestone in the extension activity of the Institute. Commissioned in August 2007, the scheme accelerates interaction between experts and farmers through video conferencing. Apart from providing training to students and scientists, the Institute also offers consultancy services to various institutes and organizations. The Institute is a consortia partner for the NAIP subproject on mobilizing mass media support for sharing agro information aimed at the strengthening of agricultural communication in the country. The fruits of the IT sector have been successfully used in research and administration of the Institute. The Bioinformatics Center, funded by the Department of Biotechnology, enables the scientists to carry out in silico experiments that complement the conventional approaches. The office automation software developed by the Institute is a major stride towards a paperless office and IASR is the first ICAR Institute to implement office automation. The Institute Library, National Informatics Center on Spices, is a main information repository for the research activities. Besides providing information support to research and development work, it caters to the needs of the scholarly community of other institutes, universities and organizations. In addition to volumes of books, technical reports, project reports, scientific journals and magazines, the center is also equipped with a number of e-journals, online databases and round-the-clock internet connectivity. The institute is a recognized center for doctoral studies under Calicut, Kannur, Mangalore and Acharya Nagarjuna universities. In short, the Indian Institute of Spices Research has carved out its own niche in the area of spices research. Our efforts towards increasing productivity of spices and reducing expenditure are still continuing.